In this video, we will discuss how to combine commands to do some powerful things. We'll be using something called pipes and pipelines. First, we're going to define three terms, standard in, standard out, and standard error. Every program in Linux has these three channels you can think of as open. In the normal case, all of them are connected to the terminal. So standard in is gonna be the input coming in from the terminal, what you type. Standard out and standard error both are going to print things to the terminal. Pipes give us a way to connect two programs. And the way we connect them when we make a pipe, the standard out of one command goes to the standard input of the other command. Let's take a look at an example. We'll use the mlb40.csv file that's in your working files directory. Use our grep command, grep for all the National League players in this file. And when we do that, we get a big long list, more than one screen full. One way we can do that is we can use the terminal window feature and scroll back. But that's, strictly speaking, not a command line solution. We've relied on that because we haven't talked about anything else to this point. But it's not a command line solution. Pipes give us a way to do that. Let's do the same thing again, grep National League in MLB40. And now we're going to do a pipe. That's the vertical bar character on, I think, most US keyboards, certainly on mine. It's the shift and backslash is where that character is on the far right-hand side of my keyboard. Whatever keyboard you're on, it's that vertical pipe character. We're going to hook it up to the less command. So what we're saying is the output of grep is going to go to the input of less. So you kind of get a visual of that. It's called a pipeline when we do this. Stuff is flowing through the pipeline is kind of the mental image to keep in mind with this. So now when I do it, I'm in the less command, and I can do all the things I do in less. I can go forward, I can go back, I can quit, etc. We can do multiple things. We can do a grep of National League, and then let's sort that, and then let's send that result to less. So now we have sorted them. We're just sorting by the line, so Adam Dunn gets to go first, and all the way down to Willie Stargell. So let's find the names of all the Yankee players who've hit 40 or more home runs. It's easy enough to do grip Yankees, and we get a list. But let's refine that list. Grip for Yankees. Now let's get just the names. So our field separator is a comma. We want field one. And then when we get those names, we want to sort those names. Again, acknowledging it's going to sort by first name. And then let's put that to less. So now we're combining a grip, a cut, a sort, and less, all in one big pipeline. We see the end result in the less command. We see Alex Rodriguez twice, Babe Ruth a handful of times, Curtis Granderson, etc. Lou Gehrig, Mickey Mantle. If we just want to see a list of the players who've done that, it'd be nice to see them only once. There's actually a command that can do that. After the sort, we're going to send it to a command called unique, U-N-I-Q. What unique does is it suppresses consecutive lines that are identical. So those lines that said Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth, Unique will only print one of those. It'll say the rest of this is redundant. So when we do that, we get a nice short list in one little quick Linux command. Here are all the New York Yankees who have hit 40 or more home runs in a season. I happen to think that's kind of cool that we can do that in a one-line command. This is a little overkill because there's actually an option to the sort command that also says to suppress duplicates. There's one good thing that we can do with the unique command. It has a flag. We can say dash C, and then that says collapse all the unique lines that are together, but put a count ahead of the result. So now we see, we get our list. Each name is prefaced by a count of how many times they did it. Babe Ruth really stands out in this list, as you might expect him to. It would be nice if we sorted this by the number of home runs instead of by the first name, which was the sort. We can build on our command. We can do another sort. And I'm going to add a flag to sort this time. Dash n says we're sorting by number, not by string. So we want to be sure that 11 comes last in this list, not that it looks like a 1 followed by another 1, which would be the default for sort. So we do that, and we get the list from 1 to 11 of all the Yankees who have hit 40 home runs or more in a season. And there's another flag to sort just to show for completion. If we wanted the list to go the other way, we could add an R to reverse the order of the sort. Now we have a list kind of more like we would expect it to be. 
Here's all the Yankees who've hit 40 home runs in a season with the number of times that they have done it. All done with command line utilities. Let's look at one more example, and that's going to show us another option to grep. We've used grep to find things, but we can also use grep to exclude things. Let's say, how about all the non-Yankees? All the players who didn't play for the Yankees who have hit 40 or more home runs in a season. Minus V is an option to grep that says everything but this. So give me every line that doesn't say Yankees on it, is what I'm saying. Do that in my file. And then we're going to get the names. And then we're going to sort that. We're going to do the unique dash C. And we're going to sort dash N again. And this is going to be a longer list. So I'm going to do a less on it as well. So we're saying, show me all the lines that don't say Yankees. Give me the player's name. Sort that list by the player's name. Then give me a count of the number of times each player has done it. Then sort that list numerically, and then show it to me in less so that I can look at it a screen at a time. Of course, we have a lot of guys who've done it once, and we scroll down to the bottom of the list. Barry Bonds, Hank Aaron, and Harmon Killebrew are the top that weren't Yankees. There's one problem with this list. We see the quotation mark on Ken Griffey and not the junior because it's a CSV file, not truly comma every separated field. And Ken Griffey Jr. has a comma in his name, and CSV can deal with that. Cut, sort, those kinds of things cannot. But there is one problem. If we go back up here, we see right here, name occurs once. What in the world is name? Name is, if we look at the file itself, name is from that header field. So we really don't want name in our output. We can deal with that. We just add another command to our pipeline. I'm going to go right here. And we're going to grep minus V name. So now we've got take everybody but Yankees, get rid of name, do the sort, get the count of occurrences, and sort that numerically. Now we have our proper data without name. Next time one of your friends asks you, hey, could you get me a list of all the Major League Baseball players who didn't play for the Yankees who hit 40 or more home runs in a season, and tell me how many times they did that. Now you have the tools to do that. This is all done with basic commands and pipes, and this is one of the very powerful concepts that the Linux command line has at its disposal.